I agree with that. I would gladly vote for Hillary Clinton. I agree with that 100%. Uh, I think we have, we have some time for audience uh, Q&A. We're going to start question. with a question from an online viewer. So oh, great. <laughs> Michael would like to know, if there were to be a musical about the GOP presidential campaigns, what would some songs be? <laughs> <laughs> well, how, how fucking dare you? Paul, what a, go. What? <laughs> Let me tell you, the hardest thing in improv is, is making up songs. I was talking about this with some friends the other day. Because I can get, like, <laughs> I can get one rhyme out, and then it all falls apart. That's as far as I can get. It's so nerve-wracking. Uh, okay, so... Song title, maybe, if that's easier, rather than... Yeah, sure. Give me a song title. No, no, I was saying you come up with the title. <laughs> oh, just the title? Yeah, instead of having to sing Do they want just song. titles or songs? It's ambiguous, isn't it? Oh, I think some of the titles would be like, that crazy GOP. <laughs> Here come the crazies. Here, here come the crazies. And they sort of parade out from the side Absolutely. of the stage. Yeah. <laughs> I think just Born on the 4th of July might be a song. That they the, as they well. just do it at varying tempos but throughout like, the whole uh, not thing. Not knowing that's a reference to a very liberal movie by <laughs> Oliver Stone that they would, they would go for it. Which is itself a reference to the song. Born in the U.S. Yankee Doodle Dandy. Oh, is it? Yes. Oh, I did not. It, you're, absolutely, you're most likely absolutely right. Are you from Canada? Worse, Massachusetts. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't even know I don't know why that's worse. <laughs> Next question.